Welcome to Purdue University, home of the Boilermakers. We're team black and gold, representing the Lyle School of Civil Engineering at the third annual Synchro University Challenge. This is the Hampton Hall of Civil Engineering. And this is the Construction Engineering and Management Computer Lab. Time to say hello to the team. Hey, I'm Kavin Shah, graduate student, Construction Engineering and Management. Hey, I'm Rahul Anand, grad student, Construction Engineering Department. Hi, I'm Ravi Kiran, Construction Engineering graduate student. Hi, I'm Abhay, Construction Engineering graduate student at Perth. Hi, I'm Priestin. I'm a graduate student in civil engineering here at Purdue University. We all know how virtual visualization of the design of any structure can help us make decisions. We use it to get a better idea of how the end product looks like. But we as construction engineers are more excited about understanding how the actual sequence of activities in our schedule looks like and maybe then be in a better position to detect schedule defects even before the actual construction begins. And it doesn't end there. There is scope for resource and cost loading, for example, and all this data forming a strong plan of construction. We become better decision makers. We become more proactive. And that is what we think this project is all about. Our mission statement for this project is to build a clash-free and proficiently sequenced construction 4D model, considering clients' requirements and the building's constructability. Our workflow for this project has the following sequence. Quantity takeoffs, productivity estimation, scheduling, 4D modeling, correcting scheduled effects, clash detection, and aesthetically improving the model. Simple. So now we have a Revit model from which quantities can be measured then, considering the activity, crew size, equipment, workspace, etc., we deduce the best possible productivities based on our work experience in construction and also the recommended standard means for building construction in 2015. The scheduling. Awesome! This is actually where we put our thinking caps. We use lean principles, assume just-in-time delivery technique, and build the schedule with least possible idle time for the crews. This meant multiple parallel activities running efficiently and also in a logical and pragmatic sequence. So we used Microsoft Project to build the schedule and to be honest, our work experience really helped a lot over here. Building the 4D model. This is where Synchro comes in. First, we import the tentative schedule and the Revit model which has already been exported into .spx format. Then we subdivide all the objects based on the heights so that we could sequence the construction according to the schedule. Then we link the corresponding activities to the objects to be constructed in the 3D model. Synchro automatically recognizes this link between the activities in the schedule and the object in the model to generate a 4D model. Identify and correct scheduled effects. So when we visualized our 4D model, we noticed that our schedule was not perfect. And this visualization helped us correct those errors by identifying them in the 4D model and then revisit and correct those corresponding activities in the schedule. We think this is an invaluable feature as this helped us improve our schedule by a very good margin. So as we had two different models to work with, one architectural and the other HVAC for this building, we thought of detecting clashes if any between the two models. Using the clash detection function of Synchro, we were able to find clashes between the architectural and HVAC elements and this puts us in a better position to rectify many of our errors. Aesthetic addition. So at this stage, we had our final product in the form of 4D model. The final task was to import the area map which is provided to us and fix the model at its place in the map. It was not the best looking model to be honest, so we really wanted to put in some aesthetic features such as construction equipment along with some landscaping to make it look more realistic and now we think it looks pretty good. We are Team Black and Gold! Thank you for watching!